Hello, my friends. And in this case, friends. This is a for friends, not a for public. Um, just now. Well, hello. I haven't done a video in a while. I haven't done much on social media in a while. I've taken a break. And the longer the break lasted, the better it felt. So I think I'm going to try to keep live live journal wow myspace my uh face i'll keep facebook and twitter to a minimum uh probably for a while now um even when it's a fairly well curated curated um page even when it's nothing but good news it just seems to um, not be particularly healthy for me um judging by how much lighter I feel when I'm not checking in multiple times a day. Uh, in the description of the video, I mentioned I'm feeling like Alice in Wonderland, and I'll s see if I can explain what I mean. Twenty twenty was supposed to be the day when, at uh, the year when things grew, transformed. When, when new things were started and things that were just budding would blossom. Um, 2020 was when I um, chose to dedicate myself to taking further steps in the various ventures that I'm a part of, um, to grow them and uh, to perhaps start new things, but mostly just to, to blossom the things that were budding, if that makes sense. Um, Toward that end, I, I, I was learning uh, all sorts of promotion, promotional stuff. I was uh, looking for promotions uh, within the workplace. I was, um, you know, taking classes and doing research. Um, I had turned the local library into my office um, so that I could, like, mentally have a workspace. Uh, and, and these were all things I was doing to uh, to blossom and um, then COVID happened and it shut almost all of that down and the things that didn't directly shut down it rained in a lot because um, living in the time of pandemic for me at least even when things are going relatively well on the small local scale are it's it's extra stress, extra exhaustion. It's 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 worry. It's anxiety. It's depression. It's a low grade. Um, metaphorically, it's like having a low grade fever. You know, it's not that troublesome in and of itself, but that it's constantly there. It's like a toothache. It's 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 draining. And so we're into July now, right? Uh, started in March, February, March we're nearly half a year of this and uh, the projections don't look good for it to be finishing anytime soon in fact we might not even be halfway there yet and so things that i put on pause until everything cleared up again it looks like um you know the the old tape recorders and VCRs, if you put them on pause after a while, they would unpause themselves to keep from damaging the tape. Feels like things are unpausing, but the tape is getting damaged anyway. Um, so I was set to grow, but in a lot of ways I've been shrinking. And, um, you know, personal mental health, um, national events, um, and all this is just kind of shrinking so that just merely getting by I've got to kind of shrink up the focus um, meanwhile um, among the communities I'm part of there's other stuff brewing that I think is fomented by the pandemic and fomented by by current events um, but you know sometimes like the, the the pride center it's needed housekeeping coming to light I think um, I'm not in the middle of it, so I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing, um, 
different stories, and I'm, I'm intentionally not digging in to try and parse it out. This is this is one that I I I, I have a vested interest in, and in if nothing else were going on, I'd want to be a part of you know the solution here. Uh, but right now I can't and there are other things going on and other communities are imploding and turning in on each other and sometimes it's part of a, health, a healing process and sometimes I think it's just fish in too small a bowl fighting um, you know and some of it's directly involved with me and most of it isn't um, and it's shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and 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 I want to do less and less and be less and less and just kind of hide in a corner and 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 all of my aspirations and passions just seem unsafe and because pandemic wise essential safety isn't something I feel confident about um, hits to safety hit harder and feel more personal, if that makes sense. And so in that way, Alice, like, I feel like I've been shrinking. At exactly the same time, things are growing, right? So some of this um, stress and drama and stuff um, is growing pains. It is a sign that things are growing. Um, I mean, even the, the, the stuff that, that's come on to me um, would not have been an issue if I weren't already in a certain position, if that makes sense. Like, I mean, to me, I am super small potatoes in the world. I'm super small potatoes in the community. I'm, I'm you know, uh, among among every community I'm part of, I feel like I'm just really unimportant um, but um, I am occasionally reminded and sometimes to my regret that um, just because I see myself that way doesn't mean other people see me that way and so there are times when I have to be taking that into account so if I make an offhanded remark to someone um, they may not see it as a remark from an equal they may see it as a remark from a superior um, or a leader or something like that and then it carries a different weight so there's expanding and growing happening and and even with things kind of semi-paused um, there are some opportunities and uh, you know and some of them might bear fruit over time and so I want to get in on them, and I want to get on on them early, um, because you know it's easier to alphabetize your library when you start from book one than when you have a thousand books and you then have to do them, right? Uh, so I, if if there's something I'm going to be a, a part of, and I'm going to have some say in how it's run, um, I want to get in on early so that it can start from a solid foundation and not have to be re recreated after it's run amok for a couple months so I've got these opportunities coming up I've got things coming up and I almost have to pretend that I am January me who's full of ambition like okay January me would absolutely want me to do this so I'm gonna do this um, even though current me wants to do less. But I know that future me will not thank me if I shrink, if I, if I allow everything I do to, to shrink up and have to start over one day. Um, and that said, I mean, it's all complicated because there may be some stuff worth starting over. Um, Gonzo Rising, I didn't want it to stop going, but now we're, we're, we're off the air for a few months um, I no longer have some of the connections I used to have um, I, I don't know when we'll be able to have an audience I don't know when 
you know, my, my, my networking abilities are, are changing during this time. Um, so I'm getting some excesses here and some excesses there. Um, and, and so I don't know, is Gonzo paused or is it time to start over? Um, is, is the time for weirdo vaudeville past? Or is it just about to come? Have we been struggling in obscurity because it wasn't quite time yet? Or have we been struggling in obscurity because I suck? Or is the level of success we had actually success we're celebrating? Um, maybe all of that, honestly. Um, I'm thinking I might want to broaden to more classically vaudevillian and less focus on the, the, the weirdo. Because, to, to be honest, the show has a few weirdo acts, but we've also had a lot of acts that aren't particularly weird. We're just like... Here's an improv troupe, here's a band, you know, and they're not particularly weird, and that's fine, and they fit in. So the the shtick of, of an all-weirdo review, um, that might not be where we're going anymore. Um, and uh, as much as I like the root concept of Gonzo Rising, maybe it's time to reinvent. Maybe when it's possible to have audiences again, it's... I don't know. We've lost so much steam. Would starting over be any harder than trying to get going again from where we're at? Um, how much of the momentum I had is still going to be there? Any of it? Um, maybe I'll have lost ground and I need to dig up. Um, I read you. Uh, so yeah, shrinking, growing, pausing. Uh, and, and like, just these past couple days, there have been a few moments where, like, cool, here's a thing that past me and future me would be really into, and current me just doesn't want to bother, but I'll I'll go for it. I'll sign up for it. I'll, I'll make it known that this is something I want to do. I know this is a skill set I have. I know this is something that I could su succeed at when I'm not on pause. I have to trust that someday I won't be on pause. Um... But, uh, and for all that, I'm moved by some of these bigger ideas, some of these bigger possibilities coming down the line. Like, that's inspiring. That's actually enough to kind of wake me up a bit. And I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be cool? I would love to be able to do this. Uh, I want to be part of that. Um, and at the same time, some of the day-to-day -day stuff is, is faltering. You know, I'm not reading my emails. I... I I, I had a meeting today, and for half of it, I didn't know what the hell was going on because I hadn't read the um, the previous few communications. Um, you know, I want I want to I want to create things bigger than myself, and that's what Gonzo is. Um, I want even bigger than that, right? I've got a core of maybe like three performers and a bunch of people who come and go, and that's cool. Um, but I want to be able to create even bigger than that. Uh, no clue what the future's. Planning based on what makes you happy makes sense. Yeah. And that's it. And I think I've got to be willing to fail, which is, this is a recurring theme for me, by the way. Um, a resistance to doing things that I don't already know I can achieve. I've got to be willing to fail. I think more than ever, because my 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 possibilities are up here. What I normally can accomplish with with absolute surety is here. So we, I'd have to grow into that anyway. And then what the current atmosphere allows me to create is down here. So it's going to take maybe extra work, and I might fail to reach here. But I might get here? I might... If... If I fail with purpose, then I can... build on the failure to keep making progress? Um, does that make sense? The... The concept makes sense in my mind, but I'm not sure if my, my, my physical visualization is... Uh, is doing any good. Uh, so yeah, I hadn't done a video in a while, and I want to let you all know, um, why I'm going to be 
pretty quiet on Facebook for a while. Um, and just everything's in flux. I mean, I've, I've got a, a, a non-profit that hundreds of dollars have gone into it and it's not doing anything right now because none of us has any drive or will or direction. And, and it's not unreasonable for us to have no drive or will or direction right now. Um, I went into vapor lock yesterday while I was trying to figure out whether I could get a haircut or not. Uh, little things I'm fumbling with. Meanwhile, I'm trying to convince people that I'm capable of much, much bigger things. And I am. If, if, if a work is a good fit for me, I can do miracles. But also sometimes little weeny things I'm going to fumble with. Um, I, I don't know. I'm rambling. I'm absolutely rambling. Um, I didn't write this as a speech or anything. Um, thank you, Rachel. I'm glad I've got someone in here responding, so I'm not just talking to the, um, the recorder. I've been babbling for 16 minutes, so that's plenty. Um, do I have any further comments before I sign off? Um, no, uh, just a rundown of, of some things um, that uh, I'm, I'm still working at Dreamscapes, uh, which is part of the uh, Utah Arts Alliance. I'm still working at Fear Factory. Both of them are moving forward cautiously. Um, the uh, Both of them are growing cautiously in a few different ways, and some of that growth is stuff that I want to dive into. Um, still doing movie reviews missing deadlines i that was that's that feels really regressive to me because past 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 me was terrible with deadlines and then i got like compulsive about deadlines and and i i you know instead of being two days ahead i'm now two days late um i feel terrible about that norman <laughs> Um, but I'm still going. As long as you'll have me, I'll keep going. Um, it's a fun gig. Uh, my personal writing has stopped completely. My, my work on St. Josephine's has been on hold completely. Um, Gonza Rising is on hold. Uh, the, the improv classes are on hold. Um, and then when things start opening up, I'm gonna have to if not start fresh, at least ask the questions about whether I have to start fresh, whether I'm going to create a new, keep what's been working, um, and then not keep the parts that I, I mean, there, I mean, there, there are things I wouldn't have changed between the February show and the March show, but if I'm taking six months or a year or two years off, um, there's no way I'm going to just start where I left off on Gonzo. It might have a new name. It might have a new exist existence. There will still be some kind of variety, vaudeville, cabaret thing in, in the future uh, for me. And pretty much any of the artists I've worked with, um, if they haven't fired me, um, and I haven't fired them, uh, and that's a fairly, fairly short list, um, and it's very surreal to me that I've been fired um, as a producer. There are people that just don't want to work with me. Um, I, I guess that's okay. There are performers I don't want to work with, and that's okay. And some of them I still wish well. I mean, I guess I wish everyone well. Honestly, uh, no matter what problem I've had with you, I'd rather you do well. And if it's a serious problem, I'd rather you heal or grow or get better or get it managed um, and if it's a problem with me I hope I'm also healing and growing and get, getting better and, and getting managed I know I mean I'm in therapy um, which is also on hold which is great hello Chris <sighs> so let's see what else is going on I guess that's it. Um, there's um, potential 
uh, I, I'm creating some characters for the uh, Dreamscapes people, uh, some festival things, so there may be some uh, festival mascot kind of activity coming up. Um, if we ever have a festival ever again, uh, we're planning some videos, um, so a lot, a lot of stuff is moving to video. Um, there's some new venue opportunities that I might be able to become part of part of running it and not just producing a show within it which would be novel I mean that's I mean that's that's a possible with like layers of maybes upon them but that's a possible outcome that I would love I think I'd love to be a um, to run a theater um, to be able to run you know I, I don't know I don't know if that'll happen and if it does happen I don't know if it'll happen anytime soon it might be years down the line um, Honestly, there are franchising opportunities where someone's going to have to run like a, a, a pseudopod of the organization. And I'm, I'm speaking of more, more than one organization here. Um, years down the line, um, I am a little bit limited because there's a level of administrative um, that I... Uh, not that I can't do, not that I won't do, but I find hard to do in and of itself unless it's really at a gut level understood that it's part of something bigger that I am passionate about. Um, and so there's, there's some middle management that's usually a necessary step on the way to other things that, that can be a very tough transition period and, and I've sort of hit that level and, and been stomped there a few times and I, I think to get where I want to be in life I've got to move through that um, and as a side note uh, Jacob is having an interview right now for a fairly significant promotion and I'm proud as hell uh, of him and the work he does and he's, he's taking courses and, and going to school and he's working so much to, to, to better himself and he's doing things that I couldn't do um, and um, I, I love having him in my life and I regularly feel like I got the better part of the deal um, and uh, I mean I mean the, 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 the anxious depressed me is just sure that it's all a mistake. <laughs> but we've been together for like 10 years now. Um, in gay land, that's infinity, you know? Uh, and we've been engaged for a while, and I don't necessarily want to get married during a pandemic, but I feel we've spent a lot more time together during this since we've had to work from home and stuff, and I, I, I want to... Um, I want to get that into reality, um, but I don't think during a pandemic is the time, but maybe we'll buy a new bed together. Uh, whew, okay, I think that's all I was going to say, and then some. So, in this time of COVID-19, in the year 2020, mid-July, um, this is Scott Maddox, also known as Skix. Um, a few other names here and there, but not, not many. Um, I've mostly kind of narrowed down to Skix for the last quite a while. Um, I mean, hell, even that I'm starting to feel less attached to. Like, like everything's on in the air, and so I'm questioning everything. Like. Is that, is that still my name? Does that still feel like my name? Um, I've, like, in the past two days, I've met two people with almost the same name. Uh, Skix, Stix, and Snix. We should form a barbershop trio. Uh, we should, a cover band for Stix, maybe. Um, oh, and, and Evermore I've been getting into. I've only been there once, but I, I'm, I'm hanging out on their Discord, and I've got a character concept, and... I wish they weren't so freaking far away. Um, it's expensive to take a lift that far and time consuming to take public transit that far. Um, 
but I, you know, if I could get there, I, I'd probably try to be a part of that, you know, try and join their cast and crew. Um, they've, they've got some great talent and a lot of overlap with the kind of talent that we do with Fear Factory, um, and a lot of overlap with the kind of talent we're starting to develop as the performing arts branch, uh, the character branch at Dreamscapes. Uh, and for all that, I feel like I'm missing something as well. Um, but those are the things I'm up to. Will they keep going? Will, uh, I don't know. Will things have to be reinvented? If, if COVID continues to get worse, um, a lot of this forward progress is based on optimism which is kind of necessary, but it does mean that nothing is moving out of sureness, which is a little unsettling. Um, and at my best self, I love that because that's adventure. Um, but best self and worst self um, are averaging out a bit lower than the baseline just because of all this right now. Um, if one day uh, YouTube archaeologists are, are wanting to research what COVID-19 was like, um, I, I hope they'll find my, my video series uh, at least vaguely useful. Um, a big concession to, to the reality of things is that recently I got extra masks. Like I had one mask for that I had bought for pollution a couple years ago. Um, and I realized, like, if if this is going to take as long as I now think it's going to take, I might as well have a couple masks to swap out. Um, I can't just... I, I, I don't know. I need new shoes. I need new shoes, and I don't want to buy them from Amazon, which is where I bought the last pair. Um, and I don't want to go to a shoe store and try on shoes. And I walk five to ten miles a day regularly, so I need some pretty sturdy shoes. Um, I've got these sketchers that, that have held on pretty good. I've, I've got them held together with shoe glue, shoe goo, shoe goo, um, which is good stuff, um, but they're getting uglier the more layers of shoe goo are required, um, and their tread is slick, um, so I don't know. Anyone in, in Salt Lake want to go shopping with me? Uh, I'm just, uh, yeah, feeling a little, a little lost right now. A little expanding, contracting, pausing, moving, all of that all at once. Um, I love you all. Um, no, I don't, I, I don't even know who most of you are, but I love a lot of you. Um, and... Uh, yeah, keep in touch.